puncher, a chocolate cookie dunker, a creamy milk puncher with O R E O. Oreo action, Oreo, Oreo action. What's the dunker? Whatever your attraction. Was she this strong last time? Couldn't you go for it? Come on, concentrate. Keep her back. Back. Clean, clean taste of Lipton tea. When you're this thirsty, Lipton iced tea tastes pure, light, clean. Not syrupy and sweet like a soft drink. <sighs> Thought she had you there. <laughs> so did I. The clean, clean taste of Lipton tea right now. There's nothing worse than stepping into the shower and finding yourself surrounded by smelly, rotten, mildew. Pee you! So what's a body to do? Wipe it out fast with X14 Instant Mildew Stain Remover. X14 has one-third more mildew fighter than Tylex. So X14 wipes out smelly, rotten, mildew stains faster than Tylex, even that ugly black stuff, and returns your shower to its clean, shining self in minutes. Mildew in the bath? Exit out fast with X14 Instant Mildew Remover. I love Liberty. We'll continue in a moment. Ever since your post office invented express mail overnight delivery, others have tried to copy our eagle. But it's not so easy. You see, express mail overnight reliability is close to perfect with the most convenient locations and prices as low as $10.75. About half what most others charge. So we're pretty hard to imitate. To use the original express mail service from your post office. You can see it everywhere as you go along your way. It's the lower price, it's especially nice because it's special every day. We built a feeling of proud new. came to America June 18, 1898. 2,000 people in the hold of a boat like sardines. Anything, anything to get to America. The Statue of Liberty is then a teenager, maybe 14 tops. She waves a torch at me. Hello, Kaminsky! I wave back. Hello, girly, you got it. Kaminsky's here. <laughs> Now it's the year 1932. George Washington, the great unifier, was born 200 years ago this year. Also this year, we got a Great Depression. Altogether, not a terrific year. Two months ago, they find my brother Harry dead. He lost everything in the Great Crash. So they find him in the garage in his DeSoto automobile with the motor running and his heart stopped. At the funeral, I yelled at him. Harry, you dope you, you should have waited. America, I guarantee this is always worth waiting for. Civilization waited for it centuries. You could have waited a couple years. America always gets stronger. I tell this to my grandson. Also to a couple people in the park, uh, Union Square Park. <laughs> I take him to the park to watch me speak on Sundays. He likes to watch me speak. People in the park. I got a message for every person in this park. Also for the President of the United States of America. Ooh, look at him. Listen to him. Listen to him, Mr. Public Speaker, talking to strangers in the park. Yes. Uh, you got some big nerve to think that we want to hear what you have to say. Listen to me, people. No, no, no. Listen to me, people. That man on that box over there, he is mentally upset. I know, he's my husband. <laughs> he is also a lunatic. Works hard six days a week, and on the seventh, what? He talks to strangers in the park. My wife, the Cossack. <laughs> but the Zavala, who said, 
You can have no daily democracy without daily citizenship. They are looking here at a citizen doing his daily. <laughs> Mr. Citizen, come home. The woman doesn't understand America. Ethel, these people want me to talk to them here. Then why do they throw things at you, Morris? They throw things at you. Ah, once in a while, a person who doesn't ag agree with you, a tomato, maybe an orange. But it shows they're listening. Go explain the beautiful thing we got here. Oh, yes. the man is mental. He was not like this the day we were married. His brain was perfect. This is a deranged person up here who wants people to throw fruits and vegetables at him in public. Morris Kaminsky, I am going home. Yeah, bye-bye. Look, here... Look, in America, here and there, a person, he don't agree with you, so sometimes he throws things at you. But not the government. Wait a minute. Mister! You get the distinction here, people? Hold it, I... mister. Did you say the government... <laughs> Did you say the government doesn't throw things? Yeah, that's what I said. Who are you? Okay, then what about the Alien and Sedition Acts? And I'm not talking vaudeville, Mac. I'm talking about people being deported for disagreeing with our government. And the Pomerades, the government just breaking into people's homes, ring a bell? Well, it ain't a Liberty Bell. I'm talking about times of real government repression. Tell me something, my little blonde poison. <laughs> what else do you know of these times? I know there were times of government repression and that's it. No! No, 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 no. That's not it. More than that, and more dangerous. Not only the governments were pressing, but there was also the people from fear. The people, the people so full of fear, they forget their rights. Liberty belongs to them, guaranteed 100% cement permanent. But the fear makes them forget, and they start to give away what nobody can take. But here, always, sooner or later, God help us sooner, they remember. And when they do, you know what happens? Well, I'll tell you what happens. Liberty, that's what happens. Yeah, that's right, liberty. They learn to respect it more. They learn to love it more, so that they have more. So the lesson, my little young blonde poison, is this. Stay awake, be alert, and watch out for the next time. Listen to me, people, listen to me now. Listen to me. There's a lot we have to understand here. There's a lot that we have to understand what we got here. Now, what we got here is liberty. And liberty, let me tell you, is like a, is like a pendulum. You know what's a pendulum? Well, a regular pendulum, uh, it swings up and back and up and back. Now watch my hand. It swings up, you get liberty. It swings back, you get less liberty. But no, no, no. I'm not talking about the regular pendulum here. What I'm talking here is an American people pendulum. Now, American people pendulum works like this. Watch the hand again. It swings up, but it goes a little higher, you get more liberty. When it swings back down, it don't swing so far back down as before. Why is that? It can't do it by itself, can it? It needs the people to push it. The people, you people in the park, your citizens, you have to make it swing. So it's more up, less back. Less back, more up. The Kaminsky's American people pendulum theory, I give it to your people in the park, I give it to you free of charge, what do you think? An orange? That's what you think, an orange? Whoop, there's a pear. Ah, a tangerine. Apple, they're listening. It's perfect. I got an audience. I miss he's here. People in the bar. Yeah. Yes, people.
I'm the one that they're singing about. <laughs> yeah, I'm the, I'm the Stars and Stripes forever. Star Spangled Banner. You can call me Old Glory, but let's just keep it simple. Uh, just call me Flag. <laughs> oh, oh, say, can you see? Okay. Uh, still a flag humor. <laughs> well, you probably don't recognize me. Say, who is that, Evil Knievel? No way. <laughs> yeah, you see, you can't recognize me because... I'm in my birthday suit, yes! I'm wearing the original 13 here. Yeah. I remember Miss Betsy sitting there going, Oh, this could be the start of something big. Oh, Tom, don't be a pain. Yeah. I was born June 14th, 1777. That makes me a Gemini. <laughs> Please, I'm kind of unpredictable, crazy. <laughs> yes. I like the outdoors, and I'm the life of any party, whether it be Republican, Democrat, Independent, Socialist, anything libertarian, I'll be there. You know, I'm 204 years old. People say, Flag, how do you stay so young? Is it jogging? No. Is it tennis? No. It's waving. <laughs> and unfurling. Richard Simmons, eat your heart out. Yeah. yeah, but it hasn't always been easy for me, though. I had a tough puberty. Yeah, war, famine, invasion. And 1861, uh, well, I had a little skin problem that broke out into 34 stars. But now, well, little patience, and look what we got now. Look at this. Hold on here. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Oh, shit! Yeah, we got your Tennessee. How are you doing today? Here's Vermont. You can't get there from here. Oh, and there's California. For sure, totally. Like I said before, you know, I, I had a tough time for a while. I've been in a lot of wars. They fired missiles and muskets at me, but you know, come the dawn's early light, I'm still there. You know what I'm talking about? You know, I've been made into everything from designer jeans to t-shirts, and I've even been a cape for Mick Jagger. Well, all right! The rocket's red glare, we're all right! But people haven't always been respectful to me. Sometimes it's been tough. There have been some people try and spit on me, trample me, burn me. Foreigners and occasionally some Americans too, but I don't let it get me down because I'm not a stay-at-home kind of flag. You know, I've been to Europe. I've been to both North and South Pole. I was at Iwo Jima. Recently, I've even been to the moon. different postures. When I'm like this, that means everything's okay. When I'm upside down, well, put on your Mae West and hit the deck. <laughs> but when I'm like this, well, that's not my favorite position because, well, that's half-masked. I don't, I don't mean to bum you out. I, I didn't come here to depress you, but I got to tell you something honestly. I haven't been getting out much lately. I guess it's not very chic to put up the flag anymore, you know. Muffin and I have a flag, but we haven't found it for very long. <laughs> hey, but look at it this way. Don't look at it as saluting me. Look at it as saluting yourselves. You know, hey, I'm just a flag, a symbol. You're the people. If I may say so from here, long may you wave.
Introducing Lee Sculptured Nails. Long-lasting like luxury salon nails, but affordable because you do them at home. Lee Sculptured Nails. Affordable, but are they easy? Like nothing you've ever used before. If you can polish your nails, you can do it. Glue on an extension. No form. Brush on the overlay. Like nail polish. Smooth shape and polish. Lee Sculptured Nails are easy. And long-lasting like salon nails. Plus, they're affordable. Lee Sculptured Nails. Who else but Lee? No diet in the world will help you lose weight until you do one thing, control your appetite. I struggled to lose weight for a year. Then I took Dexatrim. Now the weight's gone and I'm the size I want to be. Dexatrim is amazing. I lost the weight I wanted without being hungry. Dexatrim. You can't buy a stronger appetite control formula without a prescription. Just one capsule works all day to help you lose weight. You lose weight and you're not even hungry. Dexatrim. Nothing works harder to help you lose weight. I love liberty. We'll continue in a moment. We built a proud new feeling. It's super fresh. Scoop up the savings on Seal Test ice cream. Half gallon, $1.69 with coupon. Any flavor. And get end of summer savings on Pepsi products. Only 79 cents for each two liter bottle. Wake up with Quaker Instant Oatmeal. 12 to 15 ounce packages, $1.59, all varieties. We built the proud new feeling in a super fresh. Hello, my name is Clarence, Clarence Sale. For years, hundreds of car dealers have used my good name at this time of year without my permission. So now, with the help of a big time agent and a few dollars, I have given the official use of my good name to the Quality Plus Ford dealers. Announcing the Quality Plus Ford dealers Clarence Sale. You will save big. Oh, yes. May I introduce you to my wife, Close Out. Ever since your post office invented express mail overnight delivery, others have tried to copy our eagle. But it's not so easy. You see, express mail overnight reliability is close to perfect with the most convenient locations and prices as low as $10.75. About half what most others charge. So we're pretty hard to imitate. So use the original express mail service from your post office. I love liberty. We'll continue in a moment. Hello, my name is Clarence, Clarence Sale. For years, hundreds of car dealers have used my good name at this time of year without my permission. So now, with the help of a big-time agent and a few dollars, I have given the official use of my good name to the Quality Plus Ford dealers. Announcing the Quality Plus Ford dealers' Clarence sale. You will save big. Oh, yes. May I introduce you to my wife, Close Out. Fire trouble? Ow. It's nothing you'd understand. Be sure it's not dirt. You see any dirt? Well, I meant inside the engine. Hey, my gas cleans. You and your dirt. Maybe. Think that's all there is to performance? See, hey, wait, these stop, intake like... valves are dirty. My... So is the PCV. Looks like you need Atlantic gasoline. Atlantic can clean up that mess. But it's nothing I'd understand. Right? Atlantic. No other gas cleans like... It's post-Civil War, post-Reconstruction America, 1882. George Washington was born 150 years ago. And I was born 65 years ago in Tuckahoe, Talbot County, Maryland. My name is Frederick Augustus Washington Bailey. Mighty fancy name for a slave. Liberty was just a word to me when I was a boy, but then I taught myself to read, and liberty became a passion. I grew to become a successful orator, speaking out against slavery to white crowds. After escaping from slavery, Frederick Augustus Washington Bailey chose himself a new name as a free man, Frederick Douglass. He one of the big Negro abolition speakers. I, a little one, under the name Sojourner Truth. Yeah. 
One time, 30 years ago, before the war, before emancipation, I heard him speak. He asked me here to speak to you today, here in Rochester, New York, Independence Day, 1852. Why? Perhaps you mean to mock me. What have I to do with your national celebration? What then to the American black slave is your 4th of July, your national independence day? Well, let me tell you, it is a day that reveals to him more than all other days of the year the gross injustice and cruelty to which he is the constant victim. To him, your celebration is a sham. Your boasted liberty and unholy license. Your national greatness, swelling vanity. Your denunciation of tyrants, brass fronted impudence. Your sounds of rejoicing are empty and heartless. Your prayers and hymns, your sermons and thanksgivings, with all your religious parade and solemnity, are to him mere bombast, fraud, deception, impiety, and hypocrisy. A thin veil to cover up crimes which would disgrace a nation of savages. And there's something else out of kilter. The women don't have the vote. Well, I think that twixt the Negroes of the South and the women of the North all talking about their rights, the white man's gonna be in a fix pretty soon. That, that man. man over there, he said the women don't need the vote. They're ladies. They need to be helped into carriages and lifted over ditches and to have the best place wherever they go. Well, nobody helped me into carriages or over mud puddles or give me the best place no matter where I go. And ain't I a woman? Look at me. Look at my arm. I have plowed and planted and gathered into barns and no man could do better than me. And ain't I a woman? I could work as much and eat as much as a man when I could get it and bear the lash as well. And ain't I a woman? I bore, I have borne five children. And I have seen most all of them sold off into slavery. And when I cried out with my mother's grief, none but Jesus heard me. And ain't I a woman? I once, I once thought about leaving this permanently, this land that has cost my people so much suffering. But no, no, this land is mine too. The first of my ancestors, the first of my ancestors got here in 1619 and they worked this land. So now maybe you want to ask me, how come land and sky and water, how can it mean so much to one living on it under the lash and the chain? I don't know. I just know that our peoples were born on this land and that I too was born on this land and that they returned to it and that one day I too shall return to it. And in between the births and the deaths, I just love it so that one day I know that I too 
shall rejoice on this land. Me, my family, and my people. You tear a plant out of the ground, and you will kill it. We are planted here, and nothing, no one, no power on earth can pull us out of America. Lord, we ain't what we ought to be. And we ain't what we want to be. And we ain't what we're gonna be. But thank God, we ain't what we was. Ever since your post office invented express mail overnight delivery, others have tried to copy our eagle.